What's going on guys, it's Greg here today, and I'm bringing you a Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War gameplay commentary. Well, you'll be seeing a gameplay here soon, but today we're going to be taking a look at the M16. I finally started leveling this thing up in Zombies last night, and I actually caught a nerf today. So my class setup I was using was the Mill Stop Reflex, um, with just a default reticle. I had the regular silencer on, it only actually tanks your bullet velocity, which isn't too bad considering it still is going to have 616.25 meters per second, which is actually still pretty darn good. Uh, for bullet velocity, so I'd highly recommend, you know, not worrying too hard about that. Um, but for my barrel, I'm going to have the 15.9 inch strike team barrel, and this one is going to increase our damage as well as our fire rate. So that damage increase is going to be good for up close, whereas you're going to actually lose a decent amount of uh, your damage range, and as well as the uh, idle sway control. But I promise you guys that it still feels really nice up close and really consistent, so I highly recommend this barrel. I've been liking it. You guys will see in the gameplay it does some work. Now I have the field agent foregrip. This one came with a weapon blueprint I had, so that's why I'm able to use it so early. And the main reason I have it on is because just look at the amount of recoil control we're going to get. It's going to make sure our bursts are nice and accurate. And we're going to lose a little bit of shooting move speed, but that's okay. And finally, I have the tactical stock. I feel like this is a must, or else you're just a sitting duck while you're aiming down the sights on this weapon. So having that 65% increased aim walking movement speed is an absolute godsend, and I absolutely love it. But uh, yeah, I also got the Golden Viper Spaz. I will have a video probably dedicated to the shotguns once I get Plague Diamond for them. Um, but we have this, and my setup is going to be the Flash Cone 12 gauge, and the main reason I have this on is because it's kind of like a suppressor, but it doesn't hit your range. So you're just going to have 10% signature fade, which basically means you're slightly visible on the radar when you're shooting, but you're mostly concealed. It's, it's really hard to spot unless you're really paying attention to the radar. Um, then I also have the Reinforced Heavy. This one is going to increase our damage range as well as our fire rate. I absolutely love that. You don't have to worry about aim walking movement speed or sprinting moving speed. Don't worry about that too much. Then I also have the 5 milliwatt laser so we can really tighten up our hip fire accuracy. And then of course I want to have a little bit more ammo in the gun because it doesn't really come with too much. So having 9 rounds is really nice on it. And then finally, I'm going to have the Marathon stock because look at the benefits on this for only minus 20% hip fire accuracy, which is completely balanced out by our 5 milliwatt laser. So I highly recommend trying this out. Uh, this is the rest of the class setup. Stim shots, MTX, Proxy Mine, Tack Mask, Black Jacket, Scavenger, Assassin, Ghost, and Ninja. Pretty standard. So hopefully you guys will enjoy the gameplay, and I'll see you guys all in the gameplay. Alright everybody, it's Greg here today, and I'm bringing you a Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War gameplay commentary. We'll be doing this live, playing some Team Deathmatch on Armada. Now one of the things I want to say is there was a patch that came out today, and it happened to buff and nerf a bunch of guns, as well as fix some bugs and stuff. I also feel the aiming feels a little bit smoother today on the game, so let me know in the comment section below how's your experience been so far today. But let me give you guys a tip and trick real quick if you are a commentator yourself or you know you make youtube videos or you ever plan on it don't eat and then do commentaries and stuff like that because you're just going to burp but i want to see if you got and stuff like that but i just want to see if you guys like live commentary format a lot more or you guys would prefer something like this we can talk about what's going on in my mind but i got the golden viper spaz and i'm gonna make a video going over that and I'm probably gonna go over like just tips and tricks for zombies on how to do things but I want to try out the M16 today because it got a nerf and I haven't really ever used it much I started leveling it up in zombies last night this guy's gonna come here holy hell someone's up here Dude, this game is so scuffed. If, if you don't have a scuff, th this year is going to be so hard. Like, I'm playing on tactical and trying to aim your stick and jump and, you know, make moves. It's not easy. And why am I hearing noob tubes? Is that the thumper or what? Because I am beyond lost in the sauce. Where is this guy? I don't seem to know where he's at. I'm just going to hold this angle because that guy's going to hold it on me. Oh my god, I thought he'd be behind. Yeah, that's where I thought he was going to go. I don't like this positioning I'm in. Get me out of here. So yeah, my aim is slowly getting better on this game because it seems like they fixed some of the aiming issues. I don't know. But it feels so much better today than it did the past couple days. Yeah, we'll pick that up. A man just got so many kills, that. 
Alright. I'm still learning how to actually play these maps and stuff, too. Like, I just... Here's hard for me, man. It really is, and it's not... It's actually a lot slower paced in Modern Warfare, for me, at least. I've noticed there's a lot of camping. There's a lot of corner camping going on in my lobbies. Like this guy's just sitting in spawn. That's chalked right there. I wish I would have been able to get that. It's alright, though. I feel like you have to use tactical rifles in this game if you're trying to do well at long range. Because the other guns just don't feel all that well, if I'm being honest. So, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and throw a proxy mine down right there. And, uh, I'm gonna try something here. Now... Oh, wait. You know what? Let's let's try this, guys. We're gonna go up this, uh... Thing here. Didn't even hear me. Through. Yes, sir. Oh, come on, man. Like, I swear to God, people can shoot at you whenever they're coming up ladders, and it looks like they're still on the ladder, and it can shoot you. I've also noticed this happens whenever, um... People sometimes will have a shotgun out, and nobody hip-fire you, and it looks like they're not looking at you, but they actually are. There's still a lot of things that need fixing on this game, but, uh, hopefully they can iron some things out. Now, Kill streaks in this game just don't feel worth it. If I'm being honest, like they just don't seem to do much. That's a shame, cause like they recently, you know, increased the uh, score of how much it costs to get a chopper gunner and stuff like that. Streaks in this game just they don't kill for me. As I, I say that, and I get a double. But as you can see, this chopper gunner, 6,500 score, went on pretty nice tear to get it. So far, I got, what, four kills? Everyone's just kind of camping in the windows, probably. There's a nice double. Spray it there. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what streaks to run yet, either, but... Oh, uh, the M6... M16 still feels amazing. All right, ready? I'm gonna die this guy if he's up here. Never mind, he was not. Well, I'm lucky. Let's get rid of that. It's my golden viper spaz. You guys can see it. I love the camos in this game, though. That is one thing they did an amazing job with. But yes, it feels so nice to finally be able to aim and work on my aim in this game. Oh, that was disgusting. I love the M16. I don't know why I didn't use this earlier. Also, quick tip, if you throw a proxy mine down right there, there's no way to avoid it, because once you jump through these, you can't go prone right away for some reason, so... Should I give you guys that little quick tip about proxy mines? See if he tries to reach out. Man. So I have the barrel one that actually reduces your effective damage range. Huh. He gonna come up? I don't know what to do. I don't want to move from here yet. There we go. We got... There we go. Someone's behind me. Oh my god. We about to get a double... Double choppy gunny. Oh. We're on a nice 13. Let's keep it rolling, fellas. Alright, we're good. Dang. My hit marker machine is not doing me some justice today, fellas. I don't know why you chased me down. I have a war machine, fella. Someone has flak jacket, it's the end of my streak, but I'm also greedy for one more kill with this thing. Was in the corner. Ah, uh, I'm on a weapon switch. Oh my god. No, that's the end of the streak. We were tearing up. I don't know how I got this lobby, but I'm not gonna complain. I deserve <laughs> this lobby after my recent games. I'll leave my uh 
recent games open on the COD tracker. I'm not worried about that. You guys can see me go negative or whatever I might be struggling with. I don't really care. This lobby's something else, though. I am liking it. All right, come on, Choppy Gunny. Double chopper. What can we do here? What can we do, fellas? One more. Come on. There we go. We got four so far. We're on a good record with this one. I'm feeling good about this choppy. Come on. Who else? Yes, sir. There's five. Can we get a sixth? Ah, the angles. That's unfortunate. Not Pog Champ. I right, still got a little bit of time. We might be able to. Nah. I think I saw one go low, maybe? Like down low? So, uh. Yes, sir. There's probably one up there somewhere. Should go ahead and nade it. Who's out here? No. Down low. You know what? Cool with that. Place my proxy right there. There's still more coming. It's a nice little one burst. So you actually lose, I believe, your one burst range. But you do get a little bit more fire rate, and overall damage is higher, just like up close. Ah! He's one shot. Fellas, oh, this lobby is it. Too bad I'm gonna be taken out of this. Oh, I died to War Machine. I'm gonna run a flank. Alright, so here's here's what I like to do, guys. Uh, I've been starting to like doing this. Just going up these repels. He has a war machine still. He's just doing what I did to them. I mean, I can't blame him. It works, you know? Oh, jeez. I choked that one. Probably still up there with the war machine, wouldn't doubt it. It's all good. You get stunned. I tried to take him off the heady. We tried, fellas. We tried. Go, got another kill. There should be. Hope there's no one behind me, like, ready to clap. Okay, 57 and 6 in Team Deathmatch, that is something else, fellas. Woo! Hopefully you guys enjoyed that gameplay. I was not expecting to pop off this match, because I've been having some really sweaty lobbies, but that was pretty fun. Felt great for a change of pace. Now, back to getting my cheeks clapped by skill-based after this one, so... <laughs> I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you enjoyed, and uh, we'll see you then. Peace out.